My name is uh, Dr. Peter Chere. I'm CEO of Hydroponics Africa Limited. Hydroponics Africa offer farmers cost-effective way of growing crops without soil uh, to reduce in terms of uh, in, in input costs so that uh, our farmers can grow using less water and uh, nutrients. Over the years, we feel that the farmers are not uh, benefiting because of lack of rain, because of climate change. So we embarked on researching on the best way of growing crops using less water, less nutrients, and also less space. And we saw this technology hydroponics. Even me, when I was in school, our teacher told me that you can, grow, you can only grow in the soil. But we realized that the crops does not consume soil, it consumes the nutrients in the soil. And then since you don't have soil, you can also grow vertically. For me, one thing, it is not time consuming. So what you need to do there is to water. I water once, maybe in two weeks, or 10 to 14 days. If I do the watering, it takes like 10 to 14 days for me to add another water. So that really it's an advantage to me because I'm not like doing here every day, considering I'm working and I'm a mother in the house. I had purpose to, to be my own consumption, but the plants, they are, there are more sometimes, so <laughs> sometimes I do sell. Because all these, if they are like this, it's overwhelming and you don't want to throw them away. Our tubes are designed in a such a way that the water stays in the system and there's no circulation, there's no injection of oxygen or air inside. Uh, because we have been able to separate uh, aeration roots and uh, nutrient roots. By doing so, now we can grow all crops. So the choice of the crop for that tube, it will depend on you. Uh, what do you want to grow? So do you like consuming tomatoes? Then grow tomatoes in that tube, it will do well. If it is uh, spinach, uh, you have market for that, then it will do well. The, our soil is becoming acidic, so you have to change. If you don't change, uh, there's a growing population, then you'll have a problem.